Hey church family, I'm out here on a beautiful fall day, taking a little walk, thinking about a phrase I'm sure you've heard before, that someone has gone the extra mile. Often it's used to describe someone that's worked a little bit harder, that's gone a little bit further than what's expected. But what's interesting is that that phrase actually originated with Jesus, founded in uh, Matthew 5. But in context, it's not talking about people who are just hard workers. It's talking about how God wants us to treat people that we would consider our enemies, or at least people that would harm us in some way. Now, with this last week, we talked about how God wants us to go the extra mile, how often following Jesus requires going out of our way. And how far we're willing to go out of our way is often dependent upon how much we value a relationship. Or it's also dependent upon the purpose of the trip, the purpose of or, or what you're going to be delivering in that out of the way distance. And I want to encourage you again today, church, to think about someone that might need you to go the extra mile. To think about the person in your life that maybe you're not necessarily happy with. Maybe it's someone that you haven't been getting along with, but I want you to hear Jesus' words so very clearly that if someone asks you to go a mile, you give them two. If someone slaps you, you turn the other cheek. If someone sues you for your shirt, give them your coat as well. Why would Jesus teach something so hard? Because what we are to deliver, what we are to bring to people as children of the kingdom of heaven is a very valuable thing called love and it's worth however far out of our way we have to go. So I wanna encourage you church, think about someone right now that needs you to go the extra mile. Think about someone right now who needs you to take a couple of steps out of your way to inconvenience yourself so that they might see God's love through you. That's the kind of people that God is looking for. That's the kind of people I want to be in my church. That's the kind of person I wanna be. So who is it for you today? And what kind of steps do you need to take to kind of go out of your way for them? Love you, church. Let's go the distance. See you Sunday. Forget